Bonnie, we're closely following the impacts of that EF3 tornado that swept across parts of Nash and Edgecombe counties yesterday. Look at the devastation here. People in areas near Rocky Mount tonight are cleaning up debris. News Channel 12's Amanda Denise got an up close look at the damage. She joins us now live from Nash County. Well, one of those one of those areas, excuse me, impacted by the tornado was here at the Rocky Mount Memorial Park, located off of Highway 43 in Dorches. Now, crews were on scene earlier today picking up debris. Now, I'm going to step out the way just so you can see the multiple, multiple falling trees here that have blocked part of the entrances here to the park. Now, earlier today, there was a briefing and Mayor Saunders Robertson has taken action by declaring a state of emergency in the city of Rocky Mount. This afternoon, like I mentioned before, the briefing was held and it took place at the administration office in Rocky Mount to discuss the aftermath of the tornado and how the city is working to restore surrounding communities in Nash County. Major areas hit by the tornado include the Pfizer plant on Wesleyan Boulevard and the Belmont Lakes neighborhood. Now, the county manager of Rocky Mount, uh, Keith Rogers, says there have been no deaths and only two reported injuries so far due to this tornado. He also says that at this time or at the time of the briefing, rather, there were 43 customers left without power, and that is down roughly from 3,500 people from yesterday. Reporting live in Ash County, Amanda Denise, News Channel 12.